It was the first concrete proof that the British were beginning to show their hand that they were going to come back very strong and restore colonial rule. So we fought it with all our might. Jadi dulu, dulu beberapa tahun dulu sebelum ada barisan perikatan, kita dah mulakan ini antara kaum dengan kaum ni. The unity we talked about uh, never mentioned race, the racial aspect as is emphasized nowadays. All we wanted was that all the trade unions, all the workers, all the women, all the organisations to join in in the broad front to oppose the British return of the governor to rule the country. Bila kita tubuh itu, ini wartawan-wartawan yang dibagi makan oleh orang putih lah penjaga agaknya. Dia apa? Dia punya propaganda. Dia bilang, Acung Ramasami. Lama tu Acung Ramasami itu dimainkan, dimainkan untuk membencikan orang pada kita. Apabila Federation hampir terselah, Melayu nampaknya mendapat faedah. Pekeman Putra mengapa gelisah? Tengkikan Melayu mendapat tua. Negeri Melayu, hak Melayu, ikan senongong bukannya you. Acong tak boleh bertukar bulu. Ramah sami tetap bercurak Indu. The British were not happy with us, uh, with the opposition. They didn't like us to oppose the proposals. Tapi orang putih dia tak kisah. Pantauan tak lah, dia jalan juga. Apa kena buat, itu dia. We realize it's no use opposing. You got to put in something, and so to be convincing, we had to put up our proposals. Actually, the People's Constitution is uh, an example of very careful consultation and diplomacy. They would need to put up this constitution because the British had put up 
their constitutional proposal. And we were out to show that it was a farce, it was a fake, it was really a ploy to put the governor back into power. When the proposal to call the nationality of the new country, Malayu, I had expected a lot of opposition from uh, the Chinese educated, and especially from uh, Mr. Tan Cheng Long. And to my surprise, they accepted without any discussion. It was immediate saying, yes, we agree. And that, I think, was our great achievement. Principally, we had a lot of publicity in the press. And of course, our own printing. We did we printed thousands of those things. And we had rallies, big rallies throughout the country, explaining constitutional proposals, our constitutional proposals. I mean, look at the meetings we had in Farrer Park in Singapore, you had 20, 30, even the press, British press said 20,000. Dia impunkan orang dalam satu-satu kampung tu. Kemudian, ketua-ketua parti ni pergi sana memberi pandangan. Sambutan raya pun bagus. Kerana rakyat masa itu mulai sedar lah, mulai nampak lah ya, tanah air ini dia punya ya. And at that time, the opposition to the proposals was so powerful. Baru orang pun tak tahu kekuatan kita ada di dalam. Selama ini dia tak, tak faham. And if the British did not understand this mood and they wanted to put Malaya back into a pre-war mode, there'll be a lot of trouble. The British completely ignored whatever we put forward. They, all, they didn't acknowledge receipt of anything we sent them. That's, the proposal didn't exist. There were three more hats that were given to the government and they didn't have no idea. Yes, we, we felt that this will do. We have to do something more drastic. Pusat Tenaga Rakyat dan Menteri Bergerak Serentak di seluruh Malaya telah mengeluarkan satu maklumat yang disemparkan petang semalam. The Putra and the All Malaya Council of Joint Action are calling a Malaya-wide hatal on October 20th, the day on which the British Parliament will debate the revised constitutional proposals. Peristiaran itu memaklumkan bahawa satu gerakan hartal akan dianjurkan di seluruh Melaya pada 20 hari bulan Oktober ini. Mulai dari pukul 6 pagi sampai tengah malamnya sebagai membantah perlembagaan Federasi. The Putra and the AMCJ call upon those who regard Malaya as their real home 